hi everyone thank you for watching again so today i'm gonna show you guys what janelle's wash day looks like janelle's hair has been growing like wildflowers for the last year and i think it's about time i showed you guys what our secret is this is a video of janelle's hair in 2016 and this is janelle's hair in 2017 the growth has been amazing and i wanted to share it with y'all so you can start your own healthy and fun hair regimen with your daughters hope you enjoyed the video so first i wanted to show you guys what products and accessories i use for wash day and if i don't have any of these things wash day is cancelled until further notice i personally love the detangling brush and i think it's a must have for everyone that's um, taking care of children's hair because i found that it's the least harsh on the hair less breakage and also and most importantly the least painful one i'm using professional hair shears to cut off any one strand or two strand knots to make sure the hair stays healthy and i'm using a conditioner to pre-poo and detangle the hair this is by far the best conditioner i found to detangle hair and I've tried a lot, but it's a Dutch brand, so it's very, very hard to get it outside of Europe. So if you can't get it outside, just use your own favorite uh, cheap conditioner to pre-poo it. I'm also using Andre Lon shampoo. I found that it doesn't really matter what kind of shampoo I use. It always gets the job done and it also doesn't have any drying effects because I always deep condition straight after so the hair stays moisturized regardless of the brand of shampoo I use. After wash day, I always follow up with a leave-in conditioner. This is not my go-to leave-in conditioner. I don't have a go-to leave-in conditioner. I use different kind of conditioners um, depending on um, what kind of look I'm going for or how much time I have before it has to be dry or the smell I want or the shine I want. I promise I will do a video of all the products I use, how I use them and when I use them as soon as possible. So let's get started. First thing I do is wet her hair to make sure that it's completely saturated with water. Then I apply my conditioner to uh, give her hair the slip I need to detangle painlessly. And the first thing I do is uh, try and section her hair into. As you can see, her hair is very, very tangled. It's been loose all week. Um, so I'm gently uh, detangling the hair. Uh, trying to get it into two sections. I'm being very gentle on her hair because I want it to be a non-painful experience. So after I created my section, I add some more conditioner to completely saturate the hair and give it some more slip. And then I start finger detangling. If there are any knots, I cut them out with my shears. Um, I always start finger detangling and then when I'm um, satisfied that the biggest knots are out of the hair, I go in with my detangling brush. That way I make sure that um, I'm not causing any unnecessary breakage.
when you're using the detangle brush make sure that you always start from the tips of her hair working your way up and if the hair still has a few tangles make sure to detangle in smaller sections instead When I'm shampooing, I'm just focusing on the scalp of her hair and the rest of the hair cleans up as soon as I rinse it out but um, if you focus on the scalp, it doesn't have a drying effect on the rest of the hair. After shampoo, it's important that you always deep condition because the shampoo just stripped your hair of everything it needs and the deep condition restores everything like the moisture, the minerals, uh, gives you the strength, shine, basically all the good stuff. If you're complaining that your hair is dry, you probably need to deep condition more. So always deep condition. After I applied the deep conditioner, I put a plastic cap on her head and put her under a uh, hooded dryer for 15 to 20 minutes to make sure that um, the product has really penetrated her hair. After I deep condition and I rinsed everything out, I always apply a leave-in conditioner um, depending on what hairstyle I'm going for, I decide what kind of leave-in conditioner I use. So this is not again my go-to leave-in conditioner. I have several products I use after wash day. So that was Janelle's wash day. Um, it took us about 90 minutes to get the job done, which is pretty quick for a weekly wash day, if I say so myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below, and I'll make sure to answer them ASAP.